How are you? Uh, how are you is the question. Doing my last tweets. Were you there at the court this morning? I was not there. In fact, I was not expecting that. I would think maximum, maximum. I, don't, I wasn't expecting also they convict me. Because it's just, it's, there is no case. And, uh, and I think it's because of the tweets I made past few days, criticizing the king and the prime minister in a very direct way. That's the cause of uh, the sentence. So they sentenced you for an old tweet, but you think they're taking revenge for recent tweets? Yeah. Yeah. They're because they put me in jail for almost two months before. They thought that uh, that is enough to, to make me quiet, keep quiet. But they realized, no, that was not, did not keep him quiet. They don't know the deal. They don't know the deal. So let's see if this three month will change. And maybe they're gonna, of course, this is the second case out of five different cases. So I have still three different cases pending. Uh, and I expect from now till October, they all uh, finish. And I'm uh, not sure if there will be also, or there will not be more cases coming in the way. The more you tweet, the more cases, the more right? You tweet and yeah, and that's it. I mean, of course, I will not stop. And I'm teaching people not to stop, to challenge that. If everybody will uh, keep quiet after uh, putting them in jail, then it's, 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 it's disaster. We should challenge that. We should be willing to pay the price for the struggle, for the freedom that we fight for. And that's the price. How are you feeling right now? Uh, very good. I mean, she, my wife woke me up and she told me that three months and uh, took me a minute to think about it. Then I got up from my bed because uh, it did not shock me, it did not uh, upset me or anger me, but it surprised me how the government will justify that to the international community. Have they been... Put, oh, go ahead. Putting me for three months. How did they... How could uh, that be justified? Uh, but it seems that uh, they are not going to justify it as well because they have the support of the United States, they have the support or the silence of the international community that is uh, seen here as a green signal. That's why they are uh, proceeding more repression, more attacks against human rights defenders. And I think we as a human rights defender have to pay a much higher price than a normal human rights defender around the world because of this complication that we have to face. That our government, those dictators in this part of the world are influential because of the money, because of the wealth, because of the interest of the Western government, especially the United States, because of the arms sale. We have to pay higher price than what normally people pay for freedom and democracy. Because you will not hear much about what's going on here, as much as you will hear things happening in different countries. But our, uh, we are determined to continue, committed to continue our struggle for freedom. And we know it's a long way, we know it's a, it could be very costly, but we're more determined, committed, to our goal, and we believe that continuation of our struggle, after all, it will bring democracy to this part of the world. We will not uh, uh, count on the Western support, we will not count on American support. As you see very clearly, uh, they're supporting dictators in here. So we will count on our own people. If the influence of international community comes, we will welcome that. But we will not kill ourselves to go and call for it. We will continue our struggle. We count on our own people. And I think that is the most important challenge. And uh, we believe in our people. We believe in the strength and commitment of our people. And that believes, uh, convince me that we will uh, win our battle for freedom. 
I will not go. I will not go. I will wait for them to come and pick me. Okay, so you will not go willingly. You'll stay here until they come. I will stay here till they come. And I would expect they are outside my house now, monitoring and seeing if I go out or not. There's a helicopter outside your house for I'll sure. Helicopter from the verdict, from the moment of the verdict, well, all around my house. The ruler, dictators of this country, they think that by imprisoning me, it's an end of an era. Uh, they're gonna silence the, the nation. But I think it's a beginning of an era of our struggle. And the, deter, the determination I've, I've seen among people convinced me that's a new era and uh, there will not be an end for our struggle. And the coming few days and few weeks will prove that what I'm saying, if it is right or wrong. Ciao, il camera ciao, ciao.